What's up guys, it's James here, and today we are doing another VR, PlayStation VR tutorial. And today I am going to be showing you how to get Resident Evil 7 working with PC, with head tracking, all these things you asked for, um, lots of requests for this, and I'm going to show you exactly how to set it up. This works great with the PlayStation headset, which I know doesn't really make sense because if I got the headset, why don't I just buy it for PlayStation? But it works with the Oculus Rift, it works with the HTC Vive, and it works if you just buy the PSVR headset and you just want to try it. All right, now I will admit that this is not a polished experience. This will feel maybe... Um, it's not going to be perfect, all right, but it works, and it does give you this. Definitely gives you the scare factor uh, that you're probably after. It's, it's definitely more immersive. So what I'm using here is Trinus, as I use in all my videos. Please check out my other videos, and uh, I'll explain how to set this up. But we're going to run Trinus in Steam VR mode, uh, and I'm going to. I already have it started up. It's already running. And um, <clears throat> I'm going to load up my Steam VR and get that going as well. Okay, so let's load up Steam VR. And once it loads up, we should see the split view for the headset <clears throat> coming up in a second here. And we're going to very quickly send that display over to my headset so shift windows left it's gone it's in the headset all right and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just actually turn on the mirror so that you guys can see what I see it won't be perfect but you get an idea so there's my headset there it is all connected and good to go now in order to get Resident Evil to play with head tracking you have to, you have to hook up a controller, all right? I'm using DS4 Windows because I'm using a PlayStation 4 controller. And I've set up a profile in that. Um, let me just show you what it looks like. Um, I guess it, it doesn't matter. The, the key thing here, though, is that your right trigger controls your mouse controls those movements all right the left is WASD but uh, this is important if, it, if you don't have it set it's not going to work all right so you have the controller connected it's running with DS4 windows all right uh, make a profile set it up and there's a couple of options you have to set up in order to get it to work properly within the game First of all, we're going to use Vorpix. I do have a way of doing it with Reshade. I'm going to use Vorpix. It's easier to set up. We're going to start up Vorpix. Once Vorpix loads up, you'll see the little V down here. I'm going to open it up. I'm actually going to go into Configure. I'm going to just show you that there is a lot of people who have profiles made for Resident Evil already. You can load up one from the cloud. There's a whole bunch of them. Pick one. See how it works. If it's not good, pick a different one. I actually picked one and then ended up customizing it myself anyways. All right. But now what we'll do with all this stuff running uh, and Steam VR running, we're going to actually launch the game. Okay, so I'm going to run Resident Evil. You'll notice that Steam VR has taken over. It's telling us that even though it says unresponsive, it is going to be in the headset. All right, there's the Capcom logo. Everything's good. It's loading up. If I looked in my headset right now, I can see that screen. Everything's looking good. Okay, so what's happened here is, um, sorry, I lost my train of thought, but Vorpix has sent the exe file resident evil 7 to steam vr which allows us to view it in the headset 
Okay, I'm just gonna skip through the intro. Um, and if I can actually get the mirror showing, I'll be able to show you what I see in the headset. There it is. Okay, so this is what I actually see in the headset. And you can see that it's it's kind of tracking, not really. It's not doing much right now. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll just start a new game. Actually, you know what? Let, let me continue a game. That's easier. Okay. Before I do that, though, before I go into the game, i got to explain some very important settings first. Okay. I'm going to go into options. And you should do this before you even start up the game. And what you want to do is you want to make sure fix mouse cursor to screen is on. Very important. All right. In your graphic setting, uh, I have it 1920 by 1080. Sorry, because my webcam's there. But uh, I increased the field of vision to 90 degrees. That's as wide as it would go. Um, I made a few adjustments down here. Nothing major. Um, my anti-aliasing. Um, I'm just looking. I don't think there was anything major. I turned off the bloom effect. I didn't like that. You really kind of have to mess around with it and see what looks good and what doesn't. All right, but I didn't make too many changes. Again, you can kind of look at my changes, pause the video, match them, try different ones. Let me know if other ones work better. And anyways, that's all you have to really worry about. Like I said, the most important is fix mouse cursor to screen. All right, there is another option we're going to look at shortly. It has to do with the control keys, but uh, we'll come back to that in a second. All right. And now I'm going to just go to continue my game and I'll switch it to my mirrored view. Anyways, I turn on the headset mirror and I can show you now what the Vorpix settings are. All right, and I'm going to go to main settings. Okay, and I'm going to just show you my screens here. Um, I'm on pixel one to one with. 1.04 zoom in my image settings you might want to adjust it in my head tracking I want to make sure head tracking is on I'm gonna skip the Vive hand controller saying this is the most important head tracking as gamepad is relative alright I don't know if you can see these other settings as well this is very important once you hit OK you're going to also want to go into the menu here go to options okay so I'm in my pause menu let's just get out of this for a second <clears throat> I'm gonna to switch to the full screen display here we go I'm gonna to go to options and I noticed that it really helped because my controls were all crazy when I went into controls I scroll down here and I used invert left stick right stick all right I turned it on it kind of went a little weird turned it off and then everything worked perfectly I don't know if that made a difference or not because now it works every time but check that try that see what it does um, it seemed to have made a difference all right but as you can tell once that's all set up and I'll just use again, I'll use my mouse just to kind of, or I'll use my keyboard just to kind of straighten my view. You'll see that the headset tracks beautifully. All right. And uh, it's not bad. And if your computer is really fast, if you have a fast PC, you're going to do really well here. I am a big chicken. <laughs> it's a scary game. And uh, I have not yet played it in VR, but I plan on it, maybe in little. 10 minute blocks or something but uh, it's a great game try it out definitely the most anticipated game i think of 2017 so far anyways i really hope this helps i hope you get it working on your system i hope you're able to experience it in vr please uh leave a like subscribe i'm gonna be having tons more videos coming out let's uh let's all get into this vr experience together Till next time, thanks for watching. See ya.